We will conclude this week's lecture by posing a question. Is an object still a work of art, even if there's nobody to approach it as art? A question like this is the artist's equivalent to, if a tree falls in the forest and nobody hears it, does it still make a sound? Responding to a work of art requires a certain amount of effort from the viewer. The artist's role in this equation is similar to the sender of a message. An artist makes a work of art because he or she has something to say. The work itself can be seen as the letter that carries the message. As viewers, it is our job to receive and interpret the work to complete this communication. In this way, we are active participants in the creative process. Without our interpretation of its content, a work of art essentially has no meaning. To quote the artist Marcel Duchamp, the creative act is not performed by the artist alone. The spectator brings the work in contact with the external world by deciphering and interpreting its inner qualifications and thus adds his contribution to the creative act. Here is a well-known piece by that artist entitled Fountain. It is an example of work from Duchamp's series of ready-mades and is nothing more than a found urinal turned upside down, signed with a phony name, and placed in a fine art gallery. Duchamp's Fountain is a prime example of work that absolutely requires the interpretation of the viewer for it to exist as art. If not for the viewer who comes to the gallery to consider Duchamp's Fountain as art, it remains simply an upside-down urinal. Now, can something be art if it's not displayed in a museum or gallery? This is a very loaded question, but it's a good one to end on. I bring it up now because it's a question that was also posed by Marcel Duchamp. The way Duchamp understood it, anything presented in an art gallery is intended to be considered as art, whether the viewer thinks it's art or not. He described the art gallery as a place called the White Cube. By this, he meant that galleries and museums are clean, sterilized environments that exist exclusively to present artwork. Acknowledgement of this fact is what allowed him permission to turn an upside-down urinal into a work of art. In later weeks, we will explore the historical relevance of this Dada work in response to the First World War. When we go to a museum or gallery, we must also understand there are often more people than just the artist who take responsibilities for what is displayed. The artist must get their work approved by the curator of exhibitions, as well as by the director or board of directors. This ex uh, establishes a series of checks and balances that ensure that any number of opinions were considered before the staging of an exhibition.